It's the letter they were dreading. Instructions from the Home Office to Afghan evacuees in hotels. They have to find somewhere else to live or face homelessness. Sharara Sawari is 19. She was a journalist in Kabul. She says she feels abandoned. It's so hard for me uh, because uh, uh, I'm alone here. I can't find a house and here I don't have a job. Was this what you were expecting when you got on the plane to come to the UK? They don't have any uh, good plan for uh, us, uh, for Afghan refugee. The letter applies to those who were airlifted out of Kabul when the Taliban retook control in August 2021, or who have come through relocation schemes. Thank the government has become much. frustrated by some evacuees turning down offers of accommodation. Where an offer of accommodation can be made and is turned down, another will now not be forthcoming. But for the first time, it's become clear the majority of the 8,000 evacuees still in hotels won't now be found somewhere to move to. The letter says it's likely that most people will not receive an allocation through the new process and we encourage you to find your own accommodation wherever possible. The letter urges people to search property websites like Rightmove and Zoopla. The Afghan evacuees we spoke to in Hertfordshire say they've put down roots in the community. Unlike asylum seekers, they can work, but so long after arriving, they don't want to move yet can't afford local rents. Waheed works in a shop and has three children settled in school. I've seen more than 25 properties. I didn't get none of this property. So if I didn't get none of this property, it looks like it's almost impossible for me. The government says moving to settled accommodation will help people to fully integrate. Mohammed has been a taxi driver in Britain since 2015 and lived between the UK and Afghanistan when he was caught up in the evacuation. I'm looking every day by day, but it's very hard. Some people will say you've had a British passport since 2007, you have a bank account. Why should the British taxpayer be paying for you to be in a hotel? That is a good question. Where shall I go? What shall I do? Who going to support? My income is not enough. The Home Office says it will provide dedicated staff to offer guidance to evacuees on how to rent. But its £1 million a day hotel bill for them has to end. Lisa Holland, Sky News.